I do, folks. How are you doing? Just a quick one from the office. Now, justice shall not be sold, delayed, nor denied to no one. That's the law. And that is the law. Now, the reality is the king, as it were, when it was when these laws were created and even now today, can't dispense justice to everybody. So what they did is appointed judges to stand in their stead and dispense justice on their behalf. Now, justice should be dispensed freely, without delay, and certainly without denial. So what we're seeing today, even at the, in the highest courts of the land, is every single claim that is brought forward is sold. There's a fee if it's in the high courts, you know, £569 for every claim you bring. Now, that's selling justice, which is unlawful. And these are the highest courts in the land that are doing it. The delay in justice, we all know about that. They mess people about, drag it on. And they deny justice, strikeouts, kicking out for technicalities or for whatever reason. When justice is required, it can't really be found by anybody that's bringing it, certainly against the system, uh, unless we're fighting amongst ourselves. And then they're OK. They're quite prepared to... Uh, to listen then and to pass judgments and appoint blame to one or the other, but never to themselves or the uh, the legislative, which the judiciary and the legislative should be separate. The executive, judiciary and legislative, they should all be separated. Now, the reality is they're not. They've moulded into one and accumulated in this what, however you look at it, is a denial of justice. It's a way to quash any claims brought against anybody uh, within the system and to ensure that they can get away with absolutely whatever they want. Some would say murder, certainly recently. So what we're doing, um, some know, most know that Project Jericho, we had a denial of justice. Now, as Project Jericho itself is over, Myself and Jody are taking that forward and we, we're going to take that to uh, the Supreme Court and we're going to push that as far as we can possibly push it. And we are going for justice. But that's not what this video is about. What I've done, I've gotten together with the notorious, <laughs> the notorious Peter Gunn. And in a couple of weeks, we're going to be sorting some things out. And what we plan to do is get a whole bunch of folks who have been denied justice or even they've tried to sell justice to and they don't appreciate that or delayed justice. If you have a claim or anything that you wish to bring claim upon, we're going to put something together for you. Now, what will happen, and please don't inundate me with emails at this point, I'm going to be creating... Uh, an email, a dedicated email to for folks to send their information to or whatever they want to do. Uh, you don't need to actually send anything to us, but I suppose other than the fact your email, so you can get on an email list so we can send things to you. Now, there are no fees attached to this in any way, shape or form, but what we are planning to do is go down to the Royal Courts of Justice, the King's Bench, en masse, and go in there and demand absolutely obligate these justices to stand on their oath of office, fulfill their obligation to the king and the people and dispense some justice. Now, there should be a judge available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It doesn't matter if he's eating his Christmas dinner. He must drop it. And he must come in to dispense justice when he is required to. That is his duty and that is his obligation. They don't do that anymore. Now, what they actually do at the end of the day, 4.30, is bugger off home. And the clerks, they go home. And then they have you call a number, which goes through to the security office, not anybody in particular of importance, just the security. 
who then have to pass a message on to the clerk, who passes a message on to the justice to see if he can be asked to come in and do his job. This is what he gets paid for. This is what his oath is, to come and dispense justice. And nine times out of ten, he'll tell you no, he's not coming in. Or he'll try and dispense a little justice over the telephone, as long as it's something where we're attacking each other, we're infighting. Nothing towards the, the government, nothing towards the system. They will always protect themselves. So what we want to do, and I would like everybody to share this video far and wide, and you never hear me say that. I think I've said it once before, but this video needs sharing far and wide into all the groups you can find, all the people that may have a grievance. And I don't care if that's over the wonky times that have just been and still supposedly are. Uh, we won't go into it because this video needs to stay up. We We want it to stay. Uh, or whether you've got another tort that's been committed against you by the system. This system is not operating as it should. And as I say, I'm going to be very careful because I don't want this video to be taken down. I, I've actually deleted and restarted this recording so many times, three actually, because I've said something a little bit too far. And we all know my opinions on this shit. <laughs> but the reality is, we need people to come together on this. Now, as said, the justice should be there to dispense his justice 24 hours a day, every single day of the year. And we are going to compel that. What I'm going to do, as I say, with Peter Gunn, me and him have got together and we're going to march down there. Not march, it's not a protest. Now, I must actually emphasize this. I don't protest. I think protests protests are fucking stupid. I think they've they've done people down to make people believe that they work, but all you're doing is begging your masters for longer chains. We're not going to protest. This is absolute peaceful. There is no messing about and there won't be any messing about. Everybody who requires justice will be going heading down on a particular day to the Royal Courts of Justice. What I would like to do is absolutely fill the place with folks who are not getting justice, who just require justice. And by the end of the day, we will not leave. If they haven't given us justice, they haven't put a justice judge on to us to, uh, to give us that justice, then uh, we will not be leaving. We'll be staying in there. They'll be locking the doors with us inside. And again, no protesting, no getting out of order, just peacefully requiring justice. That judge needs to be in that building 24 hours a day. If he's gone home, he needs to turn his ass around and get back to work. He's got a duty and an obligation to fulfil, and we shall be there to ensure he does that en masse. So I would like as many folks as possible. Now, what we're going to be doing in a couple of weeks is putting a package together now, this package, as I say, it will go to a dedicated email. Please, nobody, and I mean nobody, nobody email me over this yet. When there's an email created, an address created for you to get in touch, you will get a pack. It's going to give some information. It's also going to give templates. I'm going to have a template that I'm going to create, um, and it's going to be pieced together so it starts off compelling the justice to do his job and it's going to end off as it, as it should end off properly. You need to fill in your bit in the middle, whatever is your issue, what you're taught, what justice you, you're not getting, the injustices that have, that have been committed against you by the system. You need to fill the middle bit in, but everything else will be there ready for you and you'll be able to download it, piece your paperwork together and preferably bring three copies, three copies to the court on the day. Now, one copy will be for yourself. One copy will be for the justice, if the justice will, will see you at the end of the day. And the other copy will be to be put in a bag at the end of the day, and we will leave. If we have to leave the place by whatever o'clock, <laughs> it's 3 a.m. in the morning, <laughs> or whatever time, if we don't get justice and justice isn't coming, we're not going to waste days being in there like i say it's not a protest we'll put them all in a bag literally everyone in a bag and we will leave them with instructions for them to get to the duty the emergency judge the 24-hour judge they're one and the same now when he comes in the next day he will see them 
And if that doesn't get any justice, we shall cop uh, repeat it. And we shall repeat it and we shall repeat it. Now, an important factor of this, and we'll go into it a little bit more at the time, there can be no assholes. If you are an asshole, and we all can be at times, you're going to leave that side of you at home. There's going to be no arguing. There's going to be no shouting. There's going to be no placards. There's going to be no demonstrating. It is not a protest. It is going to be quiet. It's going to be reserved. And it's going to be professional. We're there for justice. If anybody causes any trouble, they are not part of us. You can be absolutely sure they've been sent by the system to subvert it again, to deny justice. We're not going to allow the press to get hold of it and ruin it for us. We're not going to let anybody ruin this day. What I would suggest, if anybody does try and ruin it on that day, all of us just usher them out the door. We just get rid of them. Just make it known they are not for, or not with us at all. Uh, we'll, I say, more to come. This is only formulating at the minute. And it's about the denial of justice. It's the fact that time and time again, People go into these courts and do not get justice. As soon as they say it's against the system, it closes down on you. The judiciary is supposed to be separate. It is not supposed to be part of the government. They are not supposed to protect the government. They do this day in, day out, usually on technicalities. But technicalities should not matter one notch. This is absolutely justice required. And anybody requiring justice, and like I say, I don't care what the tort is. If if you've had a tort committed against you, maybe you've had your, your children taken off you, maybe you've uh, had property taken off you, maybe you've had your house ransacked, maybe your business over the past blah, 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 that's, uh, that's created some heavy-handed enforcement that they had no right to do in the first place. Maybe you was just imprisoned, wrongfully imprisoned for some months, not allowed to leave your property. Now, it didn't really affect me, but I know there were many, many people stayed within their walls and didn't go out, didn't see the family who actually needed them. Many, many folks committed suicide, unfortunately. Um, but we're not going to go down that road because, again, it's going to, I'm going to say something daft and it's going to give rise to them... Uh, deleting this video for now i'm going to pretty much leave it at that just know that there's somebody out there fighting for you now i don't care who you are get this information out and there are some folks who know i will not have anything to do with them i don't trust them i don't like them however this is far too important so everybody is welcome to join in with this if you've got a group you can share this within your group. If you are in a group, share it with a group. Let folks know, because ideally, I'd like to fill that building. And it would take a lot of people to fill that building. But there's a lot of people out there that have been denied justice. Certainly an awful lot of people out there that have been sold injustices, guised as justice. So I'm going to leave it at that for now, folks. So... Uh, have a little ponder on this. Uh, if it's something you're interested in and you would like a day out to try and sort something out, to actually do something constructive rather than just sit winding on Facebook, it's there and it's going to happen. So have a think on it and see if you want to be involved. Like I say, no protesting, no kicking off, no causing trouble. We're going to give them no excuse whatsoever to deny us justice, we only wish for justice. And if it means they have to bring all of the judges back to deal with us all, so be it. Because they're not seeing people, they're not dispensing justice, as we've seen with Project Jericho recently, but as said, that's going to continue. But a very, very solid, well-rounded case was denied justice on, on bullshit, basically. Judges' discretion. Not acceptable. Absolutely not acceptable. So if you'd like to be involved, it is coming. Like I say, please, 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 whoever you are, please don't send me any emails. I get far too many. Even today, Sunday, 
my phone has not stopped since 5.30 this morning and I've hardly had a minute to make this video and I wanted to make this video this morning and it has not stopped and here we are in the evening now and I'm just getting a chance to make it and I've still got loads of work to do and still got loads of emails as you just hear the bleep there, another one coming through. It's just non-stop. I do not get given a minute to breathe. I'm probably absolutely mental for doing this because it's absolutely, <laughs> it's more trouble. But I'm going to try and set somebody up who can deal with the emails coming in and who who is dedicated. I think I've got the right uh, right one in mind to do this anyway. And they can uh, create a, an email list of everybody who is interested when I ask for those that are interested to contact a certain email address that I will put up. You just let us know an email and you will get the information and what you need to move forward. You can put that together. We don't need an, a list of names. All we need is email so we can actually send you an email with the, the template to create the paperwork, what you're going to need to do this. And then on the day, turn up. We're not going to set it as an exact time of day. If we do that, then they're just going to shut the doors when 300 people are standing outside or a thousand if we could get it. <laughs> <laughs> who knows maybe 20 whatever we get whatever we get but hopefully we'll get a good good number but it'll be a case of just turn up sometime in the afternoon early-ish but spread it out a bit so folks just come in they'll just start off with they'll just think it's a busy day and we can we can all have a wander up to the king's remembrancer and make sure she understands that we require justice that day and we will require a true justice, a proper judge, one under an oath, not a master, not one who's going to subvert the law, and certainly not under CPR. That's selling justice. And like I say, usually delaying and denying. So, there we go. Justice shall be sold, delayed, and denied to no one. Anybody who's interested, hang fire. And I promise you, we're going to do this. And I'm going to write the documents. Peter will probably have a hand in as well on the documents. And we'll make sure they are very, very powerful. Start and ending, you can just stick in the middle bit. If it's something you're interested in, get in touch when we give you the nod. The nod. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good one. And like I say, share this far and wide. This one of all videos I ever make, I don't normally care for all that. I'm not up my own arse. And I don't beg for people to watch my videos, but this one is very, very, very important. Would like as many folks as possible, and we are going to compel justice. Let's see if we can actually do something, because uh -huh. there's too many people sitting on their arse doing nothing but whining on Facebook. Folks need to get off their arse and try, start trying to sort this out. If people do not sort it out, it will not be sorted out. The world is wonky. Let's see if we can straighten it out a little bit. Have a good one all. Thank you very much. Ta-da.